Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sadly today is going to be the last Halloween look that I have for you guys this year. I seriously had so much fun creating these, like so, so much fun. So I just wanted the last one to be a relatively easy, easy look that looks really cool. And it is a ventriloquist doll and I wanted to kind of make her a circus clown ventriloquist doll so it's super easy it's literally all about highlighting and contouring a wig lashes and a hat it's super super simple and you can play it up any way that you want you can make it scary if you wanted to i went for the more kind of glam dollish look so don't think that you can't do it because if i can do it then you can do it so i hope you guys enjoyed this very last look and i hope that you guys have a wonderful halloween if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that your email will alert you when i've uploaded a new video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I hope that you guys enjoy this. I had so much fun this year doing this and I'm just so proud of myself for dipping my hand into the Halloween cookie jar of creating makeup looks for years. I thought I couldn't do it and this year I just faced my fear and I did it and I feel like I did an okay job and I'm very uh, proud of how they all turned out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and until next time, I hope you guys have a good day or a good night and a safe and happy Halloween and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! For time's sake, I have already done half of my face, so we're going to obviously do the other half. I've already applied some foundation in the lightest color I could find with this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in Porcelain and put that all over my face with a beauty blender. I'm now going to just carve out my cheeks and also my temples, just trying to create a semi-sharp face look with this NYX Wonder Stick with the contour side. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill all of that in and then lightly blend it out with my beauty blender. Using a black eyeshadow, I'm going to create some serious hollowed shadow looks and also just kind of carve out the cheek right here. I just wanted to create the illusion of a very dollish cheek, so we need to carve that out of our face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then also I'll be bringing this down to my neck in a triangular shape just to again create some serious shadows. With the Morphe 35N palette, I'm gonna take this color right here, which is a very creamy skin-like color, and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. With a little bit of a darker color, I'm just going to pop that into the create, into the crease. Basically, I'm just doing my makeup normally, just a cute little glammy look. You can do this however you want with whatever colors you want. These are just the colors that I decided to go with, just a little more, bit more of a neutral. And then with the CK1 Duo Brow, I'm going to create a pretty good arch and doll-like brows. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna be putting glitter on it anyways. And I'm going to go ahead and blend out my eyeshadow. And also pop in some highlighter just right there under the brow bone. And this is not how you should do your eyeliner. You should not stretch your skin like that. I just don't have a steady enough hand, but I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a nice little cat eye. And for the ventriloquist doll mouth, I'm going to take that liquid liner and just kind of curve it up right here right from the corners of my mouth using that as a natural base. And then rounding out the line ever so slightly, I'm gonna bring that all the way down and I'm gonna connect it to the bottom. It doesn't need to be perfect because as you will see, we are going to be adding some shadow right here. You want the darkest part of the shadow to be in that corner and then whatever's left on your brush, you want to just drag that down the sides of it and then also just right under your lip to create a nice shadowy doll-like effect.
Right here, I'm just going to be filling in my lips. This is the Mirabella lip liner. I don't know what color it is because it doesn't say on the pencil, but you can use any color you want. I wanted to use a purplish type color or a plum type color. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my lips. And then over that, using the Baby Lips, this little sheery gloss, I'm gonna go over that. I didn't actually really like this, but it was kind of too late. <laughs> and then again, with that black shadow, I'm just kind of blending this out so it's not so splotchy. With my Cabana Boy blush, I love this color. It's by The Bomb Cosmetics. I'm gonna pop that right there on my cheeks. You're gonna wanna do this part before you put on your blush. I just didn't, I forgot. <laughs> just conceal your under eyes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that blush back on there. <laughs> now using some serious concealer, I'm going to very generously be creating a diamond-like effect with this concealer just below my eye there and then on top of the brow, just kind of wherever you want. And using this glitter that I actually got from Sally's Beauty Supply, it's a mix of purple, yellow, and pink. I'm just going to be using that concealer to make it stick to my under eye and then just kind of using my finger to blend it out so that the concealer isn't really showing. The reason I use concealer is because I didn't want to use eyelash glue or spirit gum because I wanted it to be able to be removed a lot easier at the end of the night. Using my Morphe 35P palette in these couple of purple shades, I'm gonna use an angle brush and just pop that right there under my eye to create a little pop of color for this little ventriloquist doll. With that same palette, I'm gonna take these really light colors and this flat brush, and I'm going to just kind of carve out this cheek. It almost gives it a little bit of a highlight, but it's just gonna really add a good carved effect to bring out that cheek. I got these lashes from Spirit. Do not get lashes from Spirit. These were so uncomfortable. But pop on your favorite top and bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and again, using that NYX Jumbo Stick, I'm going to apply some serious highlight to my nose, my Cupid's bow, and just right there in the middle of my chin. And of course, to create a doll-like look, I'm gonna pop in that milk color just right there all the way down to that bottom lash. And a ventriloquist doll, of course, has to have freckles. And instead of brown, I went with white just because I felt like it was a little bit more clowny and cartoonish and a little bit softer for this look. I decided to really carve out those cheeks. They weren't popping out enough. So with black shadow, I'm carefully just creating a very sharp line, but then blending out just a little bit. You can get hats like these from Spirit. They're not more than about seven or eight bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and take that white liquid liner and create bolt-like looking things right in the corners of my mouth just to give a more doll-like look. And once you add your wig, you are a ventriloquist doll. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Halloween. from Spirit Fantasy Makers? No, no, mm-mm, throw those away, they're awful.